All right, Black Belcher, baby, except we are main decking Leyline of Anticipation. That means we are going to be killing people on turn zero in game one. Okay, here we are, round one, and I know, you see this shouldered, you go, wait a second, that wasn't in the deck tech. I added a shouldered, I took out one ley line of anticipation to add an alternate wincon, so that we're not just solely reliant upon Char Belcher. Alright, so we're playing against Magic Dads, who is typically a reanimator player, so the ley lines are definitely going to work in our favor, being on the draw, we should mull aggressively for it. Yep. Okay, we found one. We can instantly... I'm going to keep this. So we're going to bottom a ley line. We're going to put this bad boy into play. That's right. We're going to bobble them. Because we might as well. Delta. Hmm. No, I'm going to, I'm going to unmask them. So I'll unmask so that this is in our deck, because I'd rather have this card, because it does have utility to be able to discard ourselves. Grief we can hard cast, that is an upside, but I don't think it's as important, as relevant. So let's discard them, and hopefully we can disrupt whatever it is they were planning to do here. I think they planned on pondering. So now at least they just don't have a play. And we have an echo, and we're drawing an extra card, so I don't mind this. We're not careful, they'll wind up hard casting Arkin, which is funny. Pedal. Okay. So, we know they're potentially a Force of Will deck. They don't have any blue cards, they could draw Brainstorm. If they start going off, we could, like, in response. I just, I wonder if it's worth waiting a turn. I think the answer is no. I guess if they draw Brainstorm and they cast it, we could have responded to Brainstorm. Ooh, the perfects. Hit him up with the perfects. All right, let's spin it. And we didn't hit anything. Big old whiff -a rooney Um, hmm. I guess we draw step, unmask them. Oh, we should have unmasked in response to that. So that they couldn't entomb. Shit. That was a bad, bad play. Oh, brainstorm. Nope, into him. That was a mistake. Should probably let them make their choice first. Mask you. Take your animate dead. No thought sees us, and we can just play our hand out. Alright. We don't have anything, which stinks. <laughs> play Marsh Flats, they're fetching, so it looks like they found a reanimation card. Oh no. Just fetching to thin. Discard some fatties. No reanimate, no reanimate, no reanimate. That thought sees us. And we're going to play our hand out. We have three cards left. It was not the worst draw. Animate dead in hand, exhum. I'll take that brainstorm. Okay, okay. Let's see, what's our best draw here? Oh, they do ponder. We can't wheel off a one draw now that we use that pedal. Otherwise, Entomb or Gamble would have been the best draw. It's still probably the best draw, though. All right. Ponder, no shuffle, ponder, shuffle. So they probably pondered into ponder. Figured, might as well see one more card. All right, all right. Oh, we didn't have to do that yet. Shit. Well, it's whatever. No whammies, no whammies. Play a land. It's a good sign. 
Uh, okay. Well, they can't draw seven. And Grief has Menace. Bobble's not a bad draw. Let's spin it. Okay. So, we'll cash in these Bobbles. So we can, we can draw on their upkeep and then keep going. Can attack for three. Their Menace creature. Put them to two. I can brainstorm, okay. We are hoping to draw LED. They can't force a well. That's actually pretty big. Can brainstorm again. Tomb for the shuffle. Indian tomb, of course. Ooh, children of Gorlis. Draw Dark Ritual's good. Right of Flame. Is that enough? One, two, three, four, five. Enough to cast Belcher. Or enough to echo again. Hmm. Wonder what the odds of them killing us is. Probably pretty high with this, huh? What are the odds they're playing days? Oh, well, let's see. Could go to their draw step so that if we fizzle, they don't get to draw a card, but. I don't think I want to do that. I think that's too risky. Ritual. Doom. We could have done this in response to them reanimating something. That would have been funny. <laughs> Just don't daze me, bro. Don't daze me, bro. Oh, I think it's happening. Oh, Ritual Force of Will. Interesting. That makes sense. Okay. All right, what can you do with it? Ritual, it's a good start. Enemy dead. Children. Draw seven, gain seven. Yep. Draw seven more. Okay. Feel like someone's dying soon. Gotta bring, bring the child back. Pondering, that's a very good sign. Shuffling, also a good sign. Are we going to get him with the 3-2 Menace? <laughs> they need a Petal or Ritual as Reanimate kills them. Hey! Wow. What a wild game. Moto just can't handle it if you're both drawing cards. There we go. Okay, alright. So I think we already have the 60... Normally we board into these Ley Lines against them, but... We're having fun with them in the main deck, so here we go. Alright, once again, mulling aggressively. Ugh. This is a turn one, though. I'm keeping. Because they're not on black-red. So if we, what, if we draw a black card? Then we have a protected turn one. Three, four, yeah. Yes, we do. Some thoughts ease me. Ponder off of Petal. Interesting. Seems unnecessarily all in. I shuffled. With no thought sees. Black card, black card, black card, black card, black card. Red card. Um we can protect an echo. Or we can go all in on actual factual turn one. I think I want to go in. Yeah, let's go in. I'll leave myself with grief because it's a better like Better card to cast on its own. The ritual. LED. Belcher. <laughs> Got him. Easy game. Easy peasy. We're 1 0. See you in round two. All right, here we are. Round two against Rock Nation. We've won the die roll. I mean, I'm not going to choose to be on the, pl uh, on the draw. Despite having the main deck ley lines. They've got 80 cards. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Hopefully they're on D&T, but they're probably on a blue deck. But let's go. Don't even have to crack LED if I don't want to. Long pause on the opal. Oh, we can always take a peek of the bobble. Question is, am I really not going for it? 
if I see blue. I think I'm just going for it either way. The brainstorm on top. You know what? I'm going to use the LED because if this doesn't go, we're scooping anyways. In fact, does not go. That's fine. Let's grab empty. Soul lands. Regular lands. Take the ley lines out. Take belchers out. Take out gambles. An echo. And some entombs. Let's go. Okay. This is... Probably not good enough, but it's not terrible. If we run into an empty, I'm going to mull it. This end is actually quite good if we find an empty, but I think I'm still going to mull it. Three hands, six soul lands in the deck. Not one has been in our opener. But this one we do keep. Bottom, bottom. And we see if six goblins on turn one is good enough. Probably not. Probably force one of them, right? No, they just let him go. Bobble. Smatic Vista. Panda. Panda, Panda. Six is so fewer than eight. But sometimes it gets there. And we can fill our hand while they scramble to find answers to these. If they find a quick sweeper, that's one thing. But if they start, like, putting bodies in front of it and using swords and prismatic ending... And they're using up cards. And the cards that we draw into might get us there. On the back side. Alright, get in for six. Another ponder. That's a shuffle. They also might wind up with awkward spots of these ponders where, like, they need a land, but they also have to find their sweeper, and then they have to shuffle... Say they see, like, a land, but two other cards that aren't a sweeper... And they don't have a fetch land or a shuffle effect, and they have to shuffle it, shuffle it, and then they miss on the land. We got them. We got them real good. Against the deck like this, is it worth just running a couple of belchers? It might be worth it. I don't hate it. Let's try this. Remember that time I complained there were no soul lands in our openers? Very funny deck. Hilarious, in fact. Are they mulliganed? We're gonna mulligan. We have a turn one that is protected if we draw a black card. I will take it. No, it is not, actually. We need we need multiple black cards for that. Hmm. Could wait, but I don't think I want to. Waiting is for cowards. Oh, that's right, it's not a turn one, because we have soul lands in the deck. Hmm. Forgetting about that. Play these out. Could play Grief. Wait for two more, two more mana, even a soul land cast Belcher? Nah. Watch him just scoop it up. It's a lot worse. <laughs> Force Will pitching Omnath. Actual Omnath. Right now we are certainly in trouble. I feel like I'm in danger. Okay. It's not good for us, but... Better than just having to scoop. Alright, they paid eight. The arrow. Yep. Missed a land drop. Okay. Let's... Grief? Yeah, I think it's worth griefing. Wow. I'm glad I did. It's that force of negation. Thank you very much. So blue, black, nice endurance. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, eight. We have enough for both. Um, let's go. Belcher first. Very confused by the soul lands. Nope, still forcing it. Pitching a Traxa. And let's see if Shouldred can do some work. They're at 10. They're going to want to decline that one. 
imagine they do not have swords in their deck. They might have something like Teferi. Or was funny. <laughs> Gain three, lose two. So they don't have an answer yet. It's a blocker. You get to gain two. Should we save that for empty? Hmm. No. I'm gonna want to draw it on their turn before they can like nurse at us. Attack. But imagine they're chumping. Okay. They got chumpers for days. And they fetched away that wasteland. Empty was the perfect draw. Now I'm wishing I kept the wasteland. Uh, bobble. Do six mana. They could hard cast Terminus if they wanted to. Meltdown. Okay. It's pretty good, but they only have two cards. Can't afford to use this. They only have one more chumper. They can Uro next turn. Or it's only gaining them one life. Oh, they can Uro this turn. Back down to six. So now they can trade with Shouldred. Can't really attack anymore. That's a good draw. So we pass. They are losing two life every turn. If they attack, we take it. They have three cards. What is this? A natural order? Yikes. How many Atraxas do they have? Oh, nice. They only have one Atraxa. They can kill Shouldred now, though. We want to draw a petal. Um, do we block? I don't think we block. I want to make the minus grist. Green Sun Zenith. Got a lot of gas in their hand. Collector roof, okay. Sack arrow, kill my, kill my thing. Oh my god, we had the, the draw coming. But now that there's a freaking collector roof. Brutal. All right, now the best draw is right of flame. Make a token. Oh, they get another arrow. Oh, and they can recast this arrow. All right. We're buried. I just want to see if we were going to draw a right of flame. We got buried. Yep. Two more coming in. No, but that would have at least made some. Would have made four goblins. All right, they got us one and one. See you in round three. Okay, round three. We won the die roll. We have an aggressive hand that doesn't quite go anywhere, though. So let's mulligan. This has potential. So let's keep. Um. Can't make use of Ritual, unfortunately. We could potentially, if we wanted to get super risky about it. But, rather just give myself two chances at hitting LED. Let's go for the first one. And we got there. And let's see if our opponent is going to let us have some fun. Alright, we're having fun. One, two... Three, we can gamble. Yeah, we're one shy of having Belcher. So let's unmask. Then we'll just echo again. Oh, they got 80 cards too. This is actual DNT though. Good to know. Good to know. Get that Thalia out of here. Get it out of my face. Imprint Leyline. <laughs> Spin again. Let's go black. Tap that for blue. Spin it. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, let's... Whoops. Let's write a flame. Dark Ritual. LED. Now we can gamble for Belcher. Two-thirds chance to win. If we miss, we can just spin it again. We did not miss. And the opponent is dead. On the first turn. 
We got them. Okay, now we have to make use of our ley lines. See if we can manage to go first. Um, if just run it back. On the play, we can decide if we want to empty or not. Like, just take out ley line, play empty. I don't know. Probably not, though. Okay, let's see. This hand, it's a banger. Um, really bad against Deafening Silence. Potentially bad against Mind Break Trap, but I'm still going to keep. Power level is pretty high. They kept on 7. That's scary. AF. And that's going to... Well... I guess we might be able to put Belcher into play. Yeah, it's possible. That is one of the cards that helps us do it. Print the Unmask and pass. Mom is fine. No Thalia is good for us. Hmm, maybe I should have kept on Maska. Huh? Could have imprinted Gamble. Play LED. We'll need that for Metalcraft. No, that was a mistake. I should have kept this. Because I wasn't thinking Grief is a creature. So it would allow me to discard them and still play a spell. We're going to hit our Chromox. That's not a big deal. Hmm. Yeah, I'll imprint the Gamble. I should have just imprinted Echo. Yeah. We are very close. Very close. Spirit Guide wins. Any mana source has us getting there in two turns. They don't seem to have much else. Attacking with Mom. <laughs> okay. Putting on the heat. Uh, that's not a good one. Yeah, I'm really wishing I, I imprinted Echo. Could have been gambling. Three, six, seven, eight coming in. So now it's Spirit Guide or Bust. Yeah. Could play a Grief. No. We gotta spin it and hope to hit Shouldered. Solitude incoming. We hit Shouldered. That's pretty funny. <laughs> it was their only chance. However, now they have eight cards in their hand. And a way to kill Shouldered. Shocker. Alright, back at it. We don't need this. Just play the empties. Or no, I'm sorry. Playing lands. And... Shouldred's not great against Solitude, huh? We could play empty, but that's not what I'm here for. Okay. So, we can unmask ourselves and Echo, but then we have, like, nothing. We could unmask them and end step in Tomb, but this, I feel like we can just do better. Yeah, this is way better. We keep this question is, do we want a grief? And mold a six? I'm going to say no. Let's not play around trap. If you get it, you get it. Yeah, no. Let's imprint grief. Ritual. Pedal. LED. And tomb. And spin it. Surgical. Okay. It is most certainly obnoxious, but we're going plus three here on an Echo. We have a land drop. We do have four lands in the deck. So, good chance to just belch them here. I think that's what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cannot grief. Let's go Ritual. Chrome Mox. Print the grief. Big Belcher. And we got them. GG's. All right. We're two and one. See you in round four. Here we go. Two and one playing against Caleb Yetman. We won the die roll. We have 
um, a hand that doesn't exactly function. We're going to have to mulligan. This hand functions. This hand functions. You know? We could bottom discard, imprint the other discard, net one more mana, or we can just bottom the Chrome Mox, which I think I'll do. I have a protected Echo with a free pedal. They mulligan to five. Let's unmask you. <laughs> Alright, it's Delver. They had a force. They also play Spell Pierce. Good to know. Let's go pedal. Pedal. LED. Tomb. And spin it. This is going to be tough. Holy moly. Can you imagine if they don't have force? Can you imagine it? Can you imagine it? Get these out there. LED. Well, let's entomb again. They do have a force, and they are kind enough at least to force the entomb. Not my echo, so we don't have to use an LED. Not that we had to, but I probably would have used one of them. Um, and there's more echoes in my deck. Also a good thing. So we are very live off the top. Wasteland. Ha! Got him. Zero lands. Ooh. <laughs> Worst draw on the deck. Drop Goif. It's a 2 3. Gamble. We're in it, baby. And I'm going in deep. Let's go blue, red, spin it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's. So if I gamble for Belcher, no, you know what? We're playing LED. If I gamble for Belcher, um, yep, that's what we're doing. Discard Lotus Petal. Okay. Right of Flame. Right of Flame. Three, four. Belcher. How did we do? Are you dead? Hey, 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 hey. nice, nice Delver deck. <laughs> okay, now we change it up. Now we switch gears. We throw our whole damn fifteen at them. <laughs> Perfect. So get rid of that. Get rid of Dem Belchers. I'll keep Shouldered. And I think it's something like that, except. Maybe, well, Echo helps increase velocity, but we're not really looking for velocity. We're just looking to get them with empty. Although if it does miss, it's nice to be able to refuel. Gamble's just not good with the empty plan, though. I don't love removing black cards, but we do bring black cards in. Let's try this. Um, it's tempting. Definitely tempting. I think a mullet. Ooh. This I like more. Hmm. I think we have to come off the grief. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Bobble incoming. No threat. Draw another empty. Let's make a land drop and pass. No land drop. Oh boy. That means lots of interaction. Could try to go for it right now. Probably better off waiting. Yeah. Move to clean up. Ooh. Now we have two, four, five, six mana. Play around spell pierce. If they want to try and pierce this, we can get them. Can also go petal opal and bait the force out with the lion's eye diamond. Go ahead, pierce me, bro. Nope. Go ahead. This will help us play around fluster. The opal. I doubt they'll counter this. Oh my god, they did. Are you kidding me? I guess we could have played one of those first. Double days, double force. Okay. <laughs> you got me. I wonder if they'd have countered pedal. 
I opened with it. Like post right of flame. Hold on to that. Might wind up bailing us out though. Goif is definitely a pain in the ass. They're tapped out now though. Oh, spirit guide, huh? Hmm. One, two, three. Now let's just go for the wheel. I guess there's no reason to use the uh wall so we don't discard it. Never mind. Don't mind me. I will use up the blue. So triple force. Classic. Uh okay, they got us. <laughs> Game three. Classic triple force. They didn't do anything. I mean, could have surmised they had a lot of interaction, but there's a good chance it wasn't all forces and a lot of it was like spell pierce or something. Well, let's go again. Did show them the empties there. Sand is awkward. It has grid, which is good. It's shouldered, which is also good, but we're pretty far away from casting it. Do have a redraw. Yeah, I'm going to mulligan. Let's keep this. They mulliganed. We did not show them soul lands. So they would not expect us to be sandbagging soul lands. So we could open with petal right of flame. It might not counter right of flame. We could also just play a land pass. Play a land, then play these out. Then we open up to Fluster. I'm going to bank on them not countering Rite of Flame off a of Petal. Alright. LED. Opal. Sandbag in the Ancient Tomb. How do you like me now? And they're going to go land and the festivities. <laughs> no, they're forcing one of them. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ponder Shuffle, Ponder Shuffle, get in for 8, down to 11 you go, Wasteland Goif, okay, Unmask, actually pretty close to casting that, put you down to 4, and scoop it up, scoop it up, got him, Delver, Nice Delver deck. <laughs> We're three and one. I'll see you in the final round. All right, final round. We won the die roll against Baba Ganoush. And this hand. Huh. I think I want to keep it. <laughs> it's kind of bad. But we do get to redraw and draw it on their turn before they draw. We would be hoping to draw Echo. Yeah, it's really the only thing that would get us there, so... Alright. Alright, this one... is kinda similar. Except has a lot more outs. I'm gonna keep it. Still probably shouldn't, but... I wanna have fun with this card. Could bottom unmask. But we might wind up using that to unmask ourselves. No, we can always just entomb. Alright, that one's in there. <laughs> Let's play Bobble. Still in our upkeep, by the way, because we don't care. What... Oh no, Pyroblast. So it's Delver again. Delver again. Boring. Um. Okay. Drew the card we bottomed. Usually not a good thing. Volcanic Island, huh? Ooh, not the worst draw. Not very good, but, you know, not the worst. Oh, really? In this economy? <laughs> really? Why would you do that? Why would you not save it for an Echo? You know I'm an Echo deck. You know it. You just know it. No shuffle. Huh. We're getting there. We really are, too. They haven't put a threat on board yet. And I don't even mind going to discard. Because we're going to put Echo in the bin. Then we're going to wind up having, like... We're going to wind up having protection and a very serious threat. Oh, 
hobble. I think I want to wait more. That's a forest. Oh. Okay. Okay. So. Hmm. Getting in for one. So I don't think we really have to worry about days anymore. If we unmask, they might wind up casting endurance. Force pitching force. Interesting. Let's go pedal. Bobble. Opal. Dark ritual. Belcher. Belcher is in. Don't quite have enough yet to get all the way in. They might be able to answer it. Probably figured they were getting wheeled, though. You can always bounce it with the fairy. Tap out for, like, Minskin Boo. And then let me kill you. Alright, I don't think I want to cash in Bobble. Grief is not going to help. Pass it over. Right, they still got nothing. I don't know what is in their hand, though. Stone Forge, okay. Four color Stone Forge. Coldra. Probably have a bunch of sh swords. No prismatic ending, though. They would have used that. Grief. <laughs> so now we can take the Coldra. That's funny. If they allow it. We get to see what the heck is going on over there. A force negation that they uh, must have drawn recently. Hmm. So Minsk and Boo is pretty threatening as well. God, they can do both. Which puts us on one, one draw. Which honestly is probably better than leaving them with force negation. I don't think we're going to be able to get through a Force of Negation. How many draws do we have? I don't know if it's better to use this bobble or not. Given that we have one draw. I think it is. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to use it. They use Ponder. They can't do both of these. Well, it's probably worth it because one of them and then both next turn should be lethal. 6, we go to 11, then it's 6 plus, uh, yeah. But no, they're just going to drop both. So we're looking for a Petal, or even like Chrome Mox plus Dark Ritual works. Belcher does not help, we need Petal. Nope. Bunch of junk, wow. We drew a bunch of the least common cards, a bunch of them. We do three discard spells and one Belcher. We have four Belcher and eight discard. The rest of our deck, I mean, Tomb, I guess, wouldn't wouldn't have been good. Gamble wouldn't have been good. Well, Gam no, I take that back. Gamble would have been great. We gambled for LED. That was a close one. All right, I think we go with this plan. Just try to get them on turn one. I don't mind having a couple Belchers, though, because this is a slower match. It means I think we can come off of those, come off of a couple echoes, and we don't need these. Let's go. Uh, this hand has nothing in it. This hand is almost playing a turn one shouldered. We're going to keep this one. Bottom echo. Guess at bottom grief. Land. This is probably too slow, but what can you do on a mold of five? That's if we even draw a couple of cards that we need. All right. Over to you. Okay. Kept on seven. I haven't really done anything. But they are making land drops. As are we. But I don't see this happening. Brainstorm, fetch, get draw. Still nothing. Still nothing. The crummy, crummy part is this late, even if we do pull off a decent empty, they can probably deal with it. Even just Uro can race reasonably well. 
Oh, I forgot about Stoneforge, if I'm being completely honest. We shouldn't even be on this plan. Like, just full stop. That's yeah, alright, though. Alright. I'm at 19. They have 8 cards. Moving to cleanup. Wow. They're locked. That means they have 8 spells and 2 more spells on the top of their deck. Discards Meltdown. That's a good draw. But I think at this point we need more. Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 goblins on turn 5. It's just not going to beat this deck. Oh, they're going to clear their own Brainstorm. Could have done that last turn, just kept the Meltdown. I guess they wanted it for our turn, but... Yeah, it's not, like, terribly good against us. Wait, was this a Hate Beast? Nope, Stoneforge, okay. Well, the heat is on. They are tapped out. I like that. That's not the worst. Still can't get double blue, though, which stinks. Hmm. I'm gonna get Cauldra. I'm gonna play a monkey. If they don't counter Rite of Flame. Right? 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 4, 7. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 12, 14 power. I think that race is Cauldra. They have six cards, though. You know what I mean? I think we have to wait. I think we gotta wait. Like maybe if we can get them to interact a bunch and then we slam the empty at the end. Or interact a lot and then... Like if we draw LED and then wind up just echoing on the backside with them tapped out. Another spirit guide. That doesn't really help. Well, at this point, it's now or never. Unfortunately. I suppose we could have passed one more turn, put this in, in our graveyard. I suppose. I'll pull five, six. Five, six, seven. We can refrain from tapping ancient tomb. Yeah, I guess it's worth it. Alright, a monkey and 12 goblins. Could have done this last turn. That's what I got. You got a sweeper? Alright, they're getting in. Okay. Grief is interesting. No, it's not. Let me just die. Let me just die. Okay, so this is trample damage. We're taking two, so we're gonna be at two. So I need to block at least three of this in the stone forge. So minimum four blockers. I'm sorry, five. And if they have any removal, oh, they get more equipment. Um, I think that kills us. Flat out. Oh. And another snake. They got tricks. And now we're dead. As we can block here. Everything else is just blocking one singleton point. So take two, three, four, five. Yep. Should be at negative negative one. Oh no. I wanted to see. Is it LED? I was not I had three of these on the top of our deck. Oh my god, all four in a row. Literally four spirit guides in a row. Back to back to back to back. That's crazy. Okay, well, we went 3 2. We had a ton of fun. We didn't hit him with a turn zero win. We hit him with a turn zero, just not the win. So, I don't know, that was pretty sweet. We didn't really get to have too much fun with Shouldred. She showed up, she did a little bit of work. But I always have a blast with this deck. I hope you had a blast watching it, and I'll see you next time.